Well, two decades ago, Amadou Diallo, a 23-year-old immigrant from Guinea, was shot dead by police outside his apartment building in New York. The four police officers fired 41 shots, 19 hit Amadou. All maintained they believed Diallo was armed at the time. But they were eventually acquitted of all charges in the year 2000, and some remained in the force for many years after that. Well, Amadou's mother has been marching with Black Lives Matter in the last few weeks, and she joins me now. Well, thanks for taking time to speak to us here. Of course, uh, the death of George Floyd must be a terrible reminder of what happened to your own son. Uh, how have you been uh, feeling these past two weeks? Thank you for having me on your show. Um, as the mother of Amadou Diallo, my one word was reopened again, having to live through uh, the trauma of losing Amadou uh, 21 years ago. Since then, I've been... Uh, embark on this journey to not only uh, demand just justice for my son, but also to join communities uh, across the country to ask for positive changes. And I have to say that when I watched the video of George Floyd, him wailing and crying for his, mod for his mother, uh, we heard him. And this is a defining moment uh, even though our children has not received justice, as I said, I was I created the Amadou Yellow Foundation and working towards programs to improve police and community relations. But today, a very big victory has happened because Governor Cuomo just signed into law three bills that we have been advocating for, and that is including more than 20 families of surviving victim of police brutality in New York City and years of uh, effort that we have worked at and pressured the Assembly uh, and the Senate, uh, really pressuring them to accept to vote into these uh, bills and force the governor to sign it into law. Our representative were two mothers today when, while he was signing these bills, uh, Gwen Quad, the mother of uh, Eric Garner, and the mother of Sean Bell. But behind the scene, families have made this happen. So it is a victory of families and grassroots organization throughout New York, New York State. It is a very significant step that's happening in New York and perhaps one which can lead to wider change. But what other measures are you looking for, or looking to lead now? At this moment, we have noticed a big um, movement being born out of this outrage, out of this injustice, because people have had enough, enough of killing of our loved ones by those who are supposed to protect them. And these young people who are now marching and putting pressure, they are the ones who are helping us to see changes, putting pressure and not giving up, including our families, members, the young people today are the driving force of this movement. And I think they need to be listened to. They need to be heard by those, by, by the elected officials and those who are implementing systems that are not in favor of people in communities. Like uh, when you talked about recently, uh, just now with uh, the law um, professor uh, about defunding uh, the, and the police in general, in New York, people believe that with that $1 billion they propose to cut from the police funding um, for the budget of uh, 2021, that $1 billion could be used for other programs, including uh, uh, the mental health crisis. The police should not be the first respondent because in our group, we have parents who have lost their loved one through this crisis. When they called 911, the police quickly descended and took the, their children's life for no reason. And also, raising awareness through the Amadou Yellow Foundation is my goal to continue to advocate because we need more education opportunities for people in the, in the neighborhoods. Instead of over-policing them and over-aggressiveness, we have to implement programs and reallocate the, the, the funding appropriately, listening to community leaders, listening to the uh, grassroots organizations, because in the, at the end of the day, 
we have to come to a uh, compromise. We are Have not you had to Diallo. Place. I'm sorry to have to interrupt you there, but we've uh, run out of time. But thank you for sharing your thoughts on the legacy of your son Amadou Diallo's death, who was shot by police 21 years ago. Thank you.